PC successfully mounted. Are you excited? Yes. Work on, <laughs> I'm gonna work on your setup. Yes. Now, I wanna show you guys my secret weapon. I ordered these really cool 3D panels. Check it out, check it out. Uh, is that supposed to happen? The board is complete. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This can't be happening. Beautiful, yes. <laughs> Let's go, it works. It's not complete and I'm like already obsessed. This is insane. Spice up your workspace or battle station with the new Lumino disc plates that feature animated OLED lights that bring the artwork to life. Lumino is a metal disc plate covered with a thin acrylic panel that comes in gloss or matte depending on the design. Each Lumino is numbered and certified, but each design is only available for 12 weeks and then it's gone forever. There is a new and improved mounting method. Using the included sticker template, you drill three holes into the wall, attach the mounting bracket with three screws, and then you slide in the new 3D magnet. A power bank is included in the package, which gets attached in the back of the Lumino, powering the lights on. But you can connect the Lumino directly into a power source if you choose. This is such a cool way to add some personality and spice up your room or setup. Check them out by clicking the link in the description section. And if you guys want to use the code TechSource at checkout, you can get up to 30% off regular displays. All right guys, the hardest part is officially complete. We mounted the PC successfully, ran all the cables we need to through the wall and out the hole in the back. Now it's time to hook up the countertop. So because of the headboard, the countertop is sitting a little over four inches towards this way, and the bracket is not long enough to support it. So if I don't have the Alex unit underneath it, it's gonna fall over. So I'm gonna be using this again temporarily to hold up the countertop so that I can drill it into the brackets from underneath. So this is the screw I'll be using with the washer to drill in from underneath the countertop and through the bracket, securing it in place. Let's freaking go. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh man, is this beautiful or what? Oh yeah, this is it. Okay, there is one more thing left to do to make sure the countertop is secured against the headboard. We only have two screws per bracket holding this thing in place. And the main purpose of that is to make sure the countertop doesn't move, but it's still wobbly. It's not that safe, obviously, as you can tell. So what we need to do is secure the countertop to the headboard. And the best way to do that is by using L brackets. So this is the bracket I'll be using to secure the countertop to the headboard. I'll be going with three of these, uh, two on the sides, one in the middle, that way it's nicely symmetrical, but this will be enough to support the weight of the countertop. So here's what it's gonna look like from the side, just so you guys have a better idea. So the bracket will basically sit right over here, connecting both the pieces together. We got two screws going in from the bottom, securing the bracket into the countertop. And then we got four holes to secure this against the headboard. Now you guys might be wondering, okay, that sounds like a pretty cool plan, but how the hell are you gonna get access to the back of the headboard? There's barely enough space to fit in a screwdriver. With the right tools, anything's possible. This is what I'll be using to get access to the back of the headboard. I picked up this right angle adapter from Amazon and with this, I'm able to get into those really hard to reach places. In fact, if you guys paid attention, I use this exact same kit on the PC desk setup that I built last week. If you guys missed that video, check it out. That was such a fun project to do, but yeah. Well, yeah, this is basically how it's gonna work. Screw goes in here. I bring it in from the back. Bam, screw it in place, simple as that.
Now that is a sturdy desk, boys and girls. Way better than before. I obviously wouldn't stand on it like I stood on my freaking desk, but I mean, it's, it's sturdy enough where it can support the weight of your wrist, keyboard, mouse, maybe even a couple of speakers if you want. Beautiful. All right, now I wanna take some time and hook up these awesome dragon scale panels against the headboard. Uh, the way you hook these up is by using these mounting templates. And there are two ways that you can hook this up. The permanent way is by drilling uh, through these little holes and into the headboard. It's a lot more secure this way, obviously, but these are extremely light. I think they're made out of PVC material. So it doesn't take much to uh, hold them up. So I'll be actually putting 3M adhesive in the back here and I'll be attaching this against the headboard and then I'll be hooking up the dragon scale panels. There are four holes in the back of each one and you basically just snap it in. Kind of like how you install the Elgato acoustic panels. Same concept. Ladies and gents, the Dragon Scale panels have been successfully installed. Man, this took forever. It took two hours to hook both of this up. I did my best to try and maintain a symmetrical design. So I had to take out the monitor and do a few measurements using the laser line as well, just to make sure that both sides are perfectly symmetrical. And I think I did a pretty good job. Okay, setup is missing some peripherals. So let's bring those over before we continue uh, starting with the mouse pad. I'm gonna give my wife the Cyber in white. This is currently our top seller. The white and black are actually our top seller currently. Dealsource.tech slash store if you guys wanna pick up one of our really cool mouse pad designs. So let's grab our keyboard. And then we got the mouse. Oh man, this is, this is gorgeous. A truly wireless setup, you guys. Bruh. Oh my God. And one of the things I actually love about this desk design is that it also looks like both the headboard and the tabletop are hovering or, or floating in this case because they're not connected to the wall. Compared to my desk, for example, you can clearly see the countertop is hooked up against the wall with those triangle brackets. So, you know, it kind of breaks the illusion of the floating desk look. Another thing I really love about this desk design is that because the countertop is not attached to the wall, I have direct access to the back, meaning I can upgrade or swap gear later down the line if I want to. I have easy access to everything behind the headboard from underneath the table. Check this out, guys. I can reach my hand comfortably and basically do whatever I want. I can swap things out. I can work on cable management. This is so much more convenient than my current desk design. I also made this setup future-proof. So let's say later down the line, I wanna add a webcam or a microphone swap the headset, whatever it is, I don't have to take down the PC in order to hook up that gear because I attached an extra USB hub in the back here. So there it is, we have four USB 3 ports that's connected directly in the back of the motherboard. So I can just plug uh, my devices in here instead of having to take down the PC every single time. The first thing I'm gonna plug in a USB hub is the dongle for her H9 headset. So here it is. Plug this in right there. That way it's not sticking out from 
behind the motherboard. And I still have three other slots to use. So, you know, if I wanna get a webcam later down the line or a microphone, audio interface, whatever the case is, I can just plug it in here. So I'm just gonna leave it back here for now until I work on the cable management. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is make sure I have easy access to the power strip behind the headboard. That's one of the biggest flaws of my current setup is if I wanna upgrade something or plug something in, it's gonna be really difficult to reach because I have to basically stand on my countertop and then reach behind the headboard to pull out the power strip. But in this case, I actually thought of a much better idea. I'll just show you guys a demonstration here before I hook it up on the headboard because it's gonna be really difficult to show you um, on camera what's going on in the back. But basically, this portion gets attached to the back of the headboard and then I just go in and slide the power strip on the mount. How freaking cool is that? Let's say the time comes, I need to swap something out in my setup or upgrade something. Um, all I gotta do is reach behind the headboard, pull out the power strip, and I get easy access to all the outlets. Super convenient, highly recommend this, you guys. And it's super cheap on Amazon, too. So another drawback of mounting your PC so far away from your actual desk is that you don't have convenient access to the USB ports. Luckily, there is a very simple solution, a USB hub. We'll be going once again with the Corsair USB 100. This is a seven port USB type C USB A hub. Pretty much has all the ports I need to transfer data to my PC as well as charge my devices. So we'll be hooking this up right underneath the desk, probably on this side. Alright, cable management looking pretty good. Um, a lot better than before, that's for sure. But I'm still not done yet because I have to manage that loose cable. I was gonna use a cable raceway, but the one I ordered was in gray, hoping that you know the gray would match the, the light gray tones of my wall. But unfortunately, it was really dark and kind of sticks out too much. So I'm gonna send that back and order a white one instead and just kind of manage the cable alongside the baseboard. I think it will look a lot nicer. And if need be, I can always paint it in light gray because I still have some paint left, left over. Um, yeah, other than that, we still have to hook up these Nanoleaf lines. Unfortunately, I don't have enough. I only have a single starter kit with a few expansion packs. I'm gonna need a, a second starter kit and a few more extensions to create a really dope design on the wall. So that is coming in later this week. Here we go, under the table, headboard, PC. Yo, this is the sickest setup I have built. Oh man, the lighting is honestly next level. Wow. I just, I love the way the light bars bounce off the dragon scales. It kind of looks like angel wings actually. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Seed is gonna flip when she sees this. All right, ladies and gents, this is officially the final day of working on her setup. Um, we got everything in the mail, so I can finally put it all together, bring in the wife, show it to her and get her reaction. I just really hope she likes it. She hasn't seen anything in this room um, after we mounted the PC on the wall. I kicked her out and she wasn't allowed to step foot in here. 
So here we got the Natalie flying. So you got two starter packs that came in as well as a few expansion packs. I got a really cool design I want to do around the PC case. Uh, we also got the new raceways, the ones in white to cover up the cables. And also I decided to swap the power strip with something a little bit more slimmer. With this power strip, I was able to slide it behind the headboard, but it was a very tight fit. It was basically scraping against the wall. And that's because I didn't take into account, you know, the quarter inch of the mount that goes in the back. So it's going to fit, but it's a very snug fit. And I don't want to scrape the wall every time I pull out the strip. So I'm replacing that with a much thinner one I found from Amazon. So we had six outlets. It's a surge protector. This will do just fine. Why are you scared? Walk. Stop here, turn. Okay, I'm gonna count down to one. Open your eyes, okay? Okay. Three, two, one. God, babe, this is so cool. Isn't that the dopest setup you've ever seen? Of course. Well, here it is, ladies and gents. The ultimate dream setup for my wife is finally complete. Well, I, I should probably say phase one is complete because setups are never really done, are they? I'm extremely happy with the outcome and I strongly believe this is a solid foundation to build upon. There's plenty of space to add any potential gear later down the line. I like this one. What is this? That's uh, dragon scale panels, but it kind of looks like um, angel wings, the way I designed it. That's so beautiful. Because you're my angel. Aww, <laughs> babe. Here are just a few things I still need to do. I need to add in the tinted side panel, which will be here in the next few weeks. I still have to top off uh, the system with more coolant so I'm not constantly hearing the water trickling into the res. And I need to sync all the Philips U lights to the bridge so I can control them with Google Voice Assistant. That actually came in at the time of making this video. The Dragon Scale panels look absolutely amazing in the setup, but they actually look more like angel wings because of the way I place them on the headboard. The lighting bouncing off from the light bars really takes it to the next level and I couldn't be more happier with the outcome. Speaking of lights, I was able to sync all the lights together using Corsair's IQ and take it to the next level by enabling murals. With this feature, I'm able to sync the Natalie lines together with my Corsair PC parts and have them react to the murals. You can actually organize your gear any way you want in the app to get the most accurate real-time effect. But the cool part is that you can add more murals from their list or create your very own custom one. Good job, babe! Thank you, thank I you. I love it. Is this my best work, you think? Best? Yeah. 
<laughs> I think it is. Honestly, I like this one the most. This is my favorite setup I've built. Thank you. Even though it's my wife's setup, I still had to test it out, obviously. So I had to play some games on it. And honestly, it was amazing gaming on that 45 inch ultra wide OLED monitor from LG. It really just sucks you into the game and provides an immersive experience. I mean, I wouldn't play competitive games on it like Modern Warfare 2 because of the aspect ratio. It's just such a disadvantage over gamers who play on a 16 by nine monitor. There was just so much head scanning, even though there was plenty of distance between the monitor and my face. The sheer size of it simply makes it difficult to quickly react. But games like Forza Horizon 5 are extremely fun. Basically anything casual. But I'm sure the diehard, hardcore, ultra wide gamers watching this video are disagreeing with me, and that's fine, you know, to each their own. But from a competitive standpoint, you just I just can't do it on a on an ultra wide. I for one can't wait to play Diablo 4 with the wife. I figured we can start her out with easy games and slowly transition over to FPS, which is my end game. But yeah, all in all, a very fun project to work on. And now that both setups are complete, I can bring you guys a full gaming room setup tour. So make sure you subscribe for that. I'll drop a link to everything I used in the wifey setup down below if you guys wanna check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you're into setup content, make sure you subscribe because we got some more awesome setup content coming your way. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one.